So again, when people tell you that, oh, you know, you want to become more fat adapted, so you're burning fat all day long, you have to understand is that that's a little bit of a misnomer. I know that no one's saying it with ill intention, but it's just not necessarily true. You're always going to burn fat as a preferred fuel source if your body is actually metabolically balanced, hormonally balanced. So really what people are saying is to become fat adapted, yes, intermittent fasting is part of it, but it's actually saying, are your hormones balanced enough? That includes your insulin, that includes your cortisol, that includes your thyroid, as saying, are you metabolically balanced enough to burn fat when you're supposed to be burning fat at these times that we'll go over right now? So that's the thing. And like you have to understand that it has nothing to do, intermittent fasting is a great way to be able to take, uh, take into account fat burning, but um, you're able to do that all day long as long as your hormones are balanced, right? And here's why. Okay, so let's get into it. So when you are at rest, think about this. So your body is sleeping overnight or you're just seated. And, and even right now, even though I'm seated, I'm still speaking. So I'm a little bit away from that complete rested state. But when you are rested, you're burning about, again, these are approximations. It's going to obviously vary per individual, more of the endomorph type, you're going to actually get more into the fat burning. And if you're more of the uh, vata ectomorph type, you're going to get more in the glucose burning. I know that may not make sense, but I, I chatted about it a little bit last week. I'll go over it just briefly today. We have to understand is that people that are, have a faster metabolism, that they lean more towards the sympathetic nervous system. They're actually going to burn more glucose. They're going to run through more glucose than they are fat. So you might say, well, that doesn't make any sense because they're typically leaner. They're not gaining as much weight. And I would say to you, that is correct. Absolutely. Their body is actually breaking down their glucose that they need at a faster rate using that as fuel as well as all as well as the calories they are putting into their system right so here's why because their body is burning more calories overall on a daily basis. You can look at two people and uh, literally, one they might both be 5'8", one's 180 pounds, one's 140 pounds. Okay, they're both 5'8", one's 180, one's 140. Let's say the 140 pounder is an ectomorph fata and the other one's an endomorph uh, kapha. Again, it is what it is. These are just constitutions and body types. All right, well, the 140 pounder might be eating 2,500 calories a day and the 180 pounder is eating like 1,500 or 60 1,600 calories a day, yet they still weigh 40 more pounds. Why is that? It has everything to do with metabolism and very little to do with becoming fat adapted. Again, it is about getting that metabolism stoked, and the ectomorph has a faster metabolism for reasons that I've spoke about on previous shows. They are burning more f fat and sugar as fuel. They're burning way more calories overall uh, than, the, than the endomorph counterpart, even though they weigh less. And the reason is, again, they weigh less because they also have a, a much faster metabolism. Okay, but I digress. Let's get back to the topic at hand. So here's the thing. When you're at rest, you're burning about 80% fat for fuel and about 20% glucose or sugar or carbs, however you want to look at it. Don't think of burning protein at all. Protein is being used to refuel the system, repair the system. It can be used as a sugar as needed. It can be broken down as a carbohydrate uh, as needed. So let's look at it this way. When you're basically totally at rest, you're burning about 80% fat and about 20% uh, sugar. And the reason why I'm like half, I'm, I'm like holding back a little bit of a, a chuckle here is because you're actually most fat adapted when you're sleeping. Right, that, that's the thing. It's like you're, you're really fat adapted while sleeping at rest. The greatest percentage, now not the most calories burned, but the greatest percentage is coming from fat when you're at completely at rest, right? So if you really wanted to become super fat adapted, you would just sleep all day long, right? But again, that's, uh, that's I'm doing a little tongue in cheek here, uh, but that is the time of the greatest percentage of fat as fuel. Now again, it's also why we say if you don't have balanced blood sugar, you're gonna have a difficult time tapping into fat as fuel being fat adapted uh, if um, as, as to someone else who has balanced blood sugar. So again, it comes back to metabolic hormones rather than just intermittent fasting. Intermittent fasting matters. It's super important. It can help with metabolic balance, but taken too far, um, especially a lot of intermittent fasting during the day, it can actually harm hormones as well because it can spike cortisol. It can lower thyroid. And I've, I've chatted about this as well. And that spiking of cortisol can also increase insulin. And, and certainly if it's not well-timed, we don't want that as well.